Okay. Okay, I don't know what this is. Just get to the point. I would like the mold to please reveal yourself in three. Yo, what is up, ladies and boys and girls? 66 I'm to back with you guys for another amazing video. And in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to a video called Six Six Marvel fans. Six Marvel Super Fans versus One Seeker DC Fan. Odd man, odd man out. From the YouTube channel Jubilee. So, you guys know I'm a super, super big Marvel fan. You can see all my stuff right there. You got a Marvel, everything Marvel. You got a, you got a poster right there. You got a like picture there. I got a poster here. I have a. I usually would be, I would not wear a Marvel t but all my Marvel stuff is in the laundry. I wear them so often that it's in the laundry right now. I have a Marvel wallet. My favorite color is red. My mascot is kind of, it's a Spider-Man Marvel. So I'm a big Marvel fan, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna know who the DC, secret DC man is in this video. So, if you guys wanna check out this video, I'll link it in the description below. And if you guys are playing along with us, we're playing along, getting the secret DC fan, please leave your guess in the comment section below as the game goes on. Now, if you guys have any videos you guys want to want me to react to like this, please leave it in the comment section below. I am wanting to do more reaction videos. So yeah, guys, I will be taking more your suggestions for any rea any reaction videos. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Hey guys, I'm so excited for this episode of Odd Man Now, but okay. first, a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But not sponsoring my video, not sponsoring my video. The episode to learn how to get a not free my video. premium membership and to check out one of our favorite classes. But for now, enjoy the episode. No, oh, I'm gonna know who the Odd Man is. This one's my favorite. I've been keeping this for a while. I've seen this video about a year ago when they made it, I thought it was, and I've been keeping it until now. How can you tell if uh, someone is a true Marvel fan? Through their knowledge of the comic books and movies? Perfection. Is it by their collection of Marvel merchandise? Oh my god, my Maybe not... it's by how they dress or even if they cosplay. Let's we go. brought together seven Marvel fans. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is Odd Man uh -huh. Out. I've been I've been waiting to watch this video for a long time. I can do this all day. That's basically my game plan and strategy. As long as they like me and think that I'm a Marvel fan, we're good. I don't know why I'm nervous because I am a Marvel fan. I need to know you do more than watch the movies. Everyone watches the movies. Maybe somebody who used to like Marvel and then doesn't anymore, doesn't like how the MCU is or something like that. Just she gives me the bad vibe. No, she gives it the bad vibe. No, she gives it the bad vibes. That they hate. As you can see, I've turned this into a thing just a little bit. She gives me that girl good this. Uh, What's her name? Um, Marin? You know, I got mine. Marin? <laughs> I got my Marin is giving me bad vibes. Can you see it? I gotta add her name for Colin. But... Oh, very nice. Okay. okay. Just gonna put that out there. I have a Star-Lord and I have Rocket Raccoon. You can see the bottom, kind of, of the Star-Lord there. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, wow. So, Jared, why are you dressed up as Cap? Do you cosplay him? Yeah, I'm a cosplayer. This, I can wear this suit, too. I've been to several different conventions. Okay. And this is what Marin? I've been Give him bad from the start. Each other in cosplay before, Jared. I usually cosplay a Storm. Has no. anyone gone to any conventions? Anyone? I'm from New York, so I always go to Comic-Con. I live in London, so I've gone to the MGM Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. nice. Are you guys more... Uh, Cinematic uh, universe fans or more of like the comics, video games, comics, everything. Who's your guys' uh, favorite characters? Who's your favorite character? Spider Man. Which Spider Man? I literally like every iteration of like first Spider Man movies. I think Tom Holland did the best job because he looked like a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. He like a teenager. <laughs> like he like a mm, okay. He's so hot, but like. It wasn't really Spider-Man, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with I agree with Mary. Now she gave me a little bit of a vibe there. So that was kind of like a geek out round. We definitely wasted a little bit of time. I think that I'm pretty safe on everybody's radar. Yeah. I felt like I had to show my you and very quickly. Okay, I'm Bowie, I'm good, bro. Eric this round. The other um, about Marvel stuff, Michael, Eric, I'm not sure, because you just said you go to Congress. You can go for DC, bro. He 
had the Venom sweater. Oh, that's like the Venom sweater, I think. Rug, and I'm like, maybe he's an anime fan who knows something about Marvel. Okay, the, not the not known as that. Michael, uh, who I am voting Michael is Eric. I'm already calling you. It's, it's Marin. I'm calling him Marin. If I'm, if I'm correctly saying her name. Sorry, buddy. And the person eliminated this round is Eric. Damn. I just noticed he had a Captain America shirt. See you guys. Oh. Didn't notice that. Uh, no one noticed that. I'm and that exact this shirt. Is the show and tell round, also known as the Marvel Flex round. All right. We'll have ten minutes to search. He doesn't even. Jared doesn't even know how to flex the hell out of Related merchandise or things that really show your Marvel Flex. I forgot about. Oh my God, she has a <laughs> hanging over Spider Man. I forgot her name. She has a National sure. 40 on and. It's glorious. <laughs> Get up here. Get this off. These boots because I like to wear my fandom. And these are the ones that I still own from way, way back when when I was a kid. <laughs> Should I bring my Ant-Man helmet? So these are like my okay, now I'm questioning. variant comic book covers, which are like some of my all-time favorite. Now I'm questioning if it's any one of these guys. I can totally use that. Uh, Excuse me. This is harder than I thought it would be. The reason why it's in my closet is because I need like a proper UV filter. It's not on display because I care too much. I'm trying to be so careful with this right now. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. You don't need merch to be a Marvel fan. Yeah? And I feel like the amount of merch that I have in front of me already, I can talk about. Gwen. Okay, so Gwen is giving me some bots. I want to talk about my Stanley Dorbs, and I got it signed from him. How coincidental. Is it that we're like recording this on his death anniversary? May he rest in peace. He's always oh. someone I always looked up to. He created such amazing characters. Now I'm gonna cry. Hope to so many people. Just doing that. Here's a picture. Oh God, my Thanos. My boyfriend. <laughs> I worked for an entire summer as a superhero. I carry the hammer like Thor, and because of that, I keep this little uh, meal. Okay, and now it's question. Uh, that now that summer, I worked a lot uh, with God, it's made the giving me the vibe. Who can it be? Show them creativity Who over conflict. Mm, that's so sweet. Okay, I'm questioning. No, I'm very questionable. Okay, Michael has that the Venom t sweater it looks like. And then we got Michelle who has the generic poster actually. The generic poster you can find on Google and be pr Google and print it right now. I can literally go print that poster and bring it. And she goes, oh, I'm a Marvel fan here. That's a generic poster I found that I can find at Google. And then we got the other girl, the girl wearing the 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 Infinity War sweater is just giving me a little bit creepy because she's saying it's, it's not about the the stuff we have. That's kind of not even saying you're not a Marvel fan. It's kind of giving me a DC fan there. And then we got the one where he, the one who left kind of gives me like an inner side because that's like the generic T-shirt you can buy at Old Navy. Oh, God. Who's the Marvel fan? Who's the motherfucking Farma fan in this? Who, no, man, who's the secret DC fan in this? It's hard to tell. Let's keep going. He's Wolverine. Uh, you know, his uh, his eye. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not Wolverine. It's Patch. <laughs> Who the? You got that. <laughs> this might be kind of a cop out, but I mean, the suit right here, I bought this whenever I paid my house off, and that was a huge deal for me. I mean, I achieved that goal. Okay, yeah, he... Jared, just give me... I drive an Iron Man car. Jarvis, you there? That's your surface, sir. Just throwing that out there and then okay. okay, Jared's <laughs> way <laughs> off the radar. He's... This is my most prized possession. Okay, first of all, Jared is way off the radar because he said he drives an Iron Man car. So, yeah. So, way off the radar. Way, 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 way. Way off the radar. Now, Amanda, what do you got for us? That I'm waiting for a new UV case for. This is an original X Men 2 poster from back when the movie came out. I was a kid. Oh this movie God. changed my life. There was a comic shop in town that had this in their window. What do you mean a UV? I'm, I'm confused. And I was UV. like, excuse me, sir, how much would it be to buy this? 
And he was like, I will give it to you for free, even though the bottom says not for distribution and that you're supposed to return it. And then here is the print. So like that, I got the background in purple, but that is the Star-Lord tattoo. And obviously the giant Spider-Man standee. I yield yes. my time. I buy like purses with the wallets. Because okay. I would have never fathom of being able to like have any of this growing up. Okay, um, okay. So I don't care. I'm buying Bowie is giving Chris me a good Clarence vibe. My favorite it's Marin. writer that Marvel's It's Marin. Had. Let's give. Without him, I feel like there'd be no X-Men that we know today so Marin, you're giving me a bad vibe here story god loves man kills signed by chris claremont do you like anything else in the marvel universe or is it like just an x-men thing for you i like the avengers they're actually no i don't they're all they're all right i like the avengers <laughs> oh, no. as far as like being part of the no, story no fantastic four no <laughs> mm. Mm. bowie bowie now you're giving me another, you give me, give me a DC fan vibes now. But the tattoos that you wear, my outfit, can that be a fake tattoo you found? Like a, like a press on tattoo kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know, Bowie. You're, you're kind of going in Mar Marin, Marin, Maroon, Maroon vibe. Marin, Marin, Marin's vibe. Marin's giving me a fake Marvel fan. And you're giving me a fake Marvel fan. So you gotta see who it is. The Avengers, mm -hmm. Silver Surfer, they're all very integral, important parts to Marvel as a whole. Okay. So you have to be able to like like and respect and at least read some of their comics to better understand the whole story arc in the Marvel right. universe. I am at college. Because of COVID, they told us we couldn't bring a lot of stuff with me. Uh, so one of this, which is uh, the thing that I had to get down from my bed. The other thing that I have is this model encyclopedia, and it has a uh, note. What colleges do not bring too much? What colleges do not bring too much? What college says that? My college didn't even say that. No, it's a luxury. I brought my poster. So yeah, let's keep going. From Stanley, and I got this right after like he passed away. I have a few encyclopedias at home. I grew up in India, so I couldn't buy comics because there were no comic book stores. So when my mom would travel for work, she would bring back comics for me, and that was the first one was like Spider Man. So I have a encyclopedia of that. Do you read the comics too, or just because? No, because not Marin, to get your mom did. You time. don't have the comics. Now I don't know if, if you guys have like the Marvel like unlimited app or whatever, which has like so I have the subscription for that. When the movies and stuff started coming out, I would always read the comics that had to do with those and then especially during like infinity stones and all that came into play or as they call infinity gems in the, in the comics like i i started like reading all of this so i read all of okay the okay, okay. she knows that the infinity stone for infinity gems in the comics that's a good sign i would have very confidently voted for marin this round yeah, marin. her name is marin hearing her okay, story i don't want to vote someone off who just doesn't have the ability to have as much stuff as other people yeah I, not i'm not confused which way it is crap I'm definitely most suspicious of Marin. Marin. I understand I'm in the same situation and want to have items that um, are very easily like borrowed. Bobby, a little bit suspicious, only liking X Men. I'm most suspicious of Marin. I'm, I'm more Marin too. Oh, Michael? Michael. Sorry, Michael. I'm going Marin. How did Michael come into this play? And the person eliminated in this round, in round two, is Marin. Ah, uh, I knew it. I feel. I'm putting my overall guess was for Marin, so other people like I've been putting other people in, but Marin's my number one guess to who she's gonna she's gonna be the fake Marvel fan. I I don't know. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. Michael looks stoked. Michael looks stoked. It's Michael. Oh, you look stoked, man. Yeah, now she's getting favorite scene. Okay, let's see. Spoiler for wait, I didn't read that. Okay, there's some spoiler. Spoiler, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, and Endgame, X-Men, Logan. I'm, I don't give it X-Men. In Endgame, whenever Cap gets that hammer, everybody went nuts. Oh my god. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't nope. take that. You can't not feel this. I am inevitable. Tony goes, and I am Iron Man. <laughs> oh, he even had the gauntlet to go with it. He so he 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 he's, 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 he's clean. He's clean. I tear up just thinking about it. Him and Amanda are clean. You can't not love that scene. So I'm gonna tell you why I picked and the one. Scene, Jared <laughs> and everybody else. Cap just grabs Bobby. Kind of could be faked. And here's Thor 
and he's like, yeah, because he's always known that you know Cap could do it, or maybe something changed between you know. I don't know what's happening. Ben. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, New York, and uh, Stan Lee is also born in the Bronx, New York. He went to high school in the Bronx. The Black Panther is also one of my favorite heroes. Rest in peace, Chadwick, and rest in peace, Stan Lee. At the end of oh, this is right off when right after reunited for and everyone had their oh, last stand. You come out with no, no one said my favorite thing. This is where this originated from the Bronx, New York. We are the X. We rep the X. I don't know. I think it's just a celebration of what it is to be a Marvel fan. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you guys what mine is after. I don't know, a hero. One of the ones that I always come back to personally is the moment in Civil War when Tony goes to talk to Peter and they have that conversation without actually having to say, with great power comes great responsibility. It's when you can do the things I do, but you don't, and then the bad things happen. They happen because of you. And okay, so linked guilt between yep, the two of them. Tony's my favorite scene. Like guilt in that movie. I don't Every know. time I hear it, it makes me it makes me tear up. And how he's just some high school kid trying to do his best and trying to do the best for his community. So I'm gonna go outside of the MCU and I'm going with Logan because if you're an X Men fan, if you're a Wolverine fan. You wanted to see Logan go berserk, or as close as berserker as he could. We couldn't get in a PG-13 movie. We needed a rated R movie. Ah! I need to. I need to watch Logan now. Get those kids that, just made me want to watch Logan. I'm sorry. <laughs> like when they put the cross and they made it an X. Like I cried like a little in that movie like i cried so hard seeing him just one last time give it his all before he had nothing left to give it was it was such a cathartic thing for a fan i think we voted them out because everybody here gave really good answers but bobby's openly admitted to not really liking other things in the marvel franchise it seems like bobby is just an x-men fan and i know obviously the x-men are marvel for all we know there could be a lot no one's a spidey fan she's just hiding there no one's a big we would have no idea of knowing no so no one no big spidey fans here god everyone's an x-men or a marvel or i mean avengers oh look no spidey the one and only we got the gold we got i honestly no like actual spidey spidey fan Bobby, I can't vote for it because I really don't think it's her. I'm gonna go with the get and say Michael. It's not Michael. It's not Michael. It's not Michael or Bobby. Eliminated this round is Michael. I'm slightly concerned that it's Bobby because an X Men super fan is not necessarily a Marvel Superman. So I'm like, what? 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 what, what? Uh, I'm so sorry. I voted for you. I honestly think that we didn't need to eliminate Michael. Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. That's my favorite thing, actually. If okay, that's important. Thing. My favorite thing from Marvel movies, I just want to say my mine now, is Infinity Wars scene where Tony, Tony and when everyone's dusting away and when Peter's getting dusted away, he's like, I can't I, telling Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good right now because that's my favorite scene because at that moment, he has a spidey sense kick in and say and he can feel the power of getting dusted away even before anyone in the entire uh, anyone around him was dusted away but yeah that's my favorite scene when peter was getting dusted away in infinity war and he can feel away before anyone because of his spidey senses Everyone feels right. confident that you already caught the mole. You can end the game now. If the majority has doubt, the game will continue. I think we caught the mole. I think we got him. So long ago, you guys got it. It's unanimous. <laughs> That's majority. We're going to end the game right here. All right. I swear, if it was Bobby and an X Men fan doesn't count as a Marvel fan. Oh my God, Amanda, you're out of it. You're out of it. <laughs> If the color that shows up is green, you all win. This is so nerve-wracking. If it's red, the mole is still in the game, and you lost. In three, two, one. I'm thinking two, it's a mer 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 Marin. Yes! <laughs> okay. All these years of, like, Marvel knowledge finally pays off, literally. <laughs> Excelsior, How would you say? Well, oh yeah, the game is over and the Marvel fans have won. That means that the four winners will be receiving a cash prize and we're also going to be gifting them the Akin to Experience, where you'll get to pick your favorite basics from our new interactive okay. apparel brand. Okay, I don't know what this is. Just get to the point.
I would like the mold to please reveal yourself in three, two, one. It was me, baby. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Why, did I, why am I feeling? I knew it was her. I, I knew it was mother. I yeah. was a fan like of the of the comics like, at a young age. I didn't lie about like anything, more more or less, but like just not for me and I felt like Yeah, I, I knew you were DC fan. a lot more. Like the Flash is my favorite DC character. But you guys are so cool and I just wanted to like talk to you guys more. The entire time I was like I just want to say this game not cuz I I don't want to win. I don't care about that. I just want to talk <laughs> to these guys more. We should all Continue talking. I really like you guys, and yeah, I would love to geek out all the would time. Would you guys have me as well? If would you have me? Sure. As well? <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can have us. No. <laughs> I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew it from the beginning. Cause she kicked me from the beginning. That sweater you can use to just the poster give it away for me. The poster give it away. Because I can literally Google it and then just print it out right now. It's not that easy to know that she was the, she was the actual, she was the actual mole in the game. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to the six Marvel Super Fans vs. One DC, One Secret DC Fan on Manto by Jubilee. If you guys do want to check out this video, don't forget to click the links in the description below. And don't forget guys to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And if you guys have any other videos you guys want to read, that any other videos you guys want me to react to, don't forget to go leave them in the comment section below. Without further ado, this will be six of the signing out. Have a good time, I'm feeling the lead I got a bad bitch, want me on a pillow of weed I got some dirt bitches on me and I'm feeling so clean That's all I want